An education worker strike in Ontario is looming once again after contract talks broke down between the union and the province. And Arfiza Amin is joining us now live from Ontario's legislature with the latest on this story. Good morning, Faiza. Good morning, Tammy. Yeah, it's the latest saga between QP and on the Ontario government. Uh, 55,000 education support workers set to go on strike on Monday if a deal cannot be reached between the union and the provincial government. So QP says that the Ford government has refused to invest in services. They say that they're calling for early childhood educators in every kindergarten classroom and an increase in staffing levels for educational assistants, librarians, office workers and custodians. Ontario's Education Minister Stephen Lecce says the government is disappointed at the strike notice and adds that the province had put forward multiple improved offers. We learned yesterday that it appears both sides have been able to reach some sort of a deal on wages, which is uh, an issue that they have not been able to come to an agreement on until this point. Earlier this week, the government repealed previous controversial legislation that imposed a contract on the workers and made it illegal for them to strike. When the government offered to withdraw the bill last week, QP also cancelled its strike. Uh, its strike and talks resumed between both sides. But still, it doesn't appear like they're any close to reaching a deal in their negotiations with this latest issue, Tammy. Uh, talks continue not too far from where I'm at, at a hotel in downtown Toronto. Both sides say they are committed to remaining at the table the next few days, only uh, between Thursday and Monday for uh, these talks to continue and for a deal to be reached. And the big question here is what will it take for a deal to be made uh, and to avoid the 55,000 education workers from going on strike?